Thank you very much for tuning in to another episode. If you want to keep up on the channel or just hang out, don't forget to check out my Discord. The link is in the description below. Hey guys, this is Down Phoenix, and today we're going to be talking about a little Twitter feud that's going on between GameSack and Guru Larry. Well, it's kind of a one-sided feud because it seems that only GameSack as well as supporters of them are really participating in it. It seems like Guru Larry is completely out of the fold. So what exactly is going on here? Let's talk about it. So essentially, this all stems from an episode of Fact Hunt that Guru Larry has released on his channel. Fact Hunt is his regular series where he talks about all kinds of interesting facts and video games, various things that happen. This particular episode happened to be about mascots that had messed up origins. It's a really fun episode to watch. But the problem with this episode is that supposedly footage from one of GameSec's episodes for the Sharp X68000 that aired more than four years ago was used in Guru Larry's episode without permission or credit. So we're going to be talking about the copyright and fair use ramifications of this. We're also going to be talking about the standards of whether that footage should have been credited or mentioned. And we're also going to talk about the context of the footage itself and how it was utilized to determine what exactly went on and how we should address this. So first of all, I want to get into the copyright and fair use type stuff because that's kind of the most serious thing that we need to think about. Whenever it comes to utilizing someone's intellectual property, we have to do so very carefully in order for it to be considered fair use. Because if it's not fair use, then you are using that intellectual property without their consent, and that entitles them to financial compensation and could lead to other consequences for the person that has offended it. Now we have to consider fair use when we talk about any kind of gameplay footage on YouTube because technically most people that are uploading gameplay footage on YouTube don't have a right to that intellectual property. Unless you happen to be someone that runs a gaming company or you're an independent studio uploading footage for your own game or something like that, chances are you don't have rights to upload that footage directly. That's where fair use comes into play. Fair use is basically a governing rule set that allows us to utilize that intellectual property in a transformative way to make videos such as let's plays, live streams, game reviews, and so much more, machinima, all kinds of things can be utilized with gameplay footage in ways that wasn't originally the intention of that footage. In order to be able to answer whether Guru Larry has infringed on this, we need to realize a couple of things. So in order to answer that question, we have to take a look at the game itself. It's called Red Riding Hood Cha Cha Cha. It's a game for the Sharp X68000. This is a shmup type game where you're basically playing as Red Riding Hood on a broom, shooting all kinds of things. It's one of those cute em up type games. So big surprise on that. We have to consider, first of all, does GameSec have any intellectual property to the game itself? Now, I think it's pretty obvious that the answer is going to be no to that because I doubt that they actually have been involved in the creation of this game, nor did they get direct copyrighted permission from the authors of that game to utilize that footage. GameSec has been able to utilize this footage under the principle of fair use as a transformative work in order to discuss and review that game for educational purposes. That's what gives us the ability to do game reviews and such in the first place. So no, they don't actually own any intellectual property. So therefore, Guru Larry did not infringe on their personal property with the gameplay footage itself. So then we have to consider, did Guru Larry use any other intellectual property that may not be related to the game? Did he use any game sack audio? Did he use any dialogue, any kind of scripts, anything else like their likenesses or images? And the answer to that, if we look at the footage, is no, he did not. He did not infringe on their property in any way. So this is technically something that they cannot make a claim on. So if they were to make a copyright claim, YouTube most likely is going to strike it down and just toss it out and laugh at it, basically. I think we realize that. 
Now that being said, it is common courtesy to be able to offer credit to other creators whenever you use their gameplay footage because it does take a lot of effort to be able to offer high quality gameplay footage that we can use in videos. That being said, it is technically optional. Your Larry has no obligation in order to offer that support to them. It kind of sucks, but I mean, it is what it is at the same time. Hopefully it is something that he will consider in the future when utilizing other people's footage. But like I said, he is technically not obligated to it. Now, some might say that that's kind of an asshole -ish thing to do, and I don't necessarily disagree with that, but it is something that you guys have to consider. We have to kind of step back, let our personal biases set aside, and take it in for what it is. GameStack offered some high quality footage that a small snippet of was used by Guru Larry as part of a montage. Due to the way that he utilized that footage, it is considered transformative from how GameStack had utilized it, which is transformative from how the game originally was, which is of course to play the game. Video games, as they were designed back then, weren't designed to be watched by people, they were designed to be played by them. So the very fact that we have all kinds of YouTube channels dedicated to gaming is outside of the original intentions of how these games were made and designed. It is because of fair use laws that we can thank the stars that we have so many great gaming opportunities on YouTube and otherwise, where you don't have to be a game programmer or developer to make money in the gaming industry. You can simply be an entertainer, you can be an informer, you can be a journalist, you can do all kinds of other roles that simply would not be possible if for the fair use laws in place. Now personally, I am a fan of both GameSack and Guru Larry. I watch every episode as they put them out because I really do enjoy their content. It is high quality content that has a lot of work put into it and it offers a good value of entertainment and information even though occasionally there are some cringy jokes. But hey, who loves a good dad joke? I know I do. So just to sum things up, Guru Larry did not utilize any of GameSack's intellectual property when he utilized that short gameplay clip. It is also important to consider that under fair use rules, you're not required to cite sources on footage that you use. It is definitely a nice practice and something you should consider, but it is certainly not required. And we also have to take into context the footage itself. It was a short three second clip of a game that is over 25 years old on a video that came out over four years ago that was used in a montage for a Guru Larry episode. If not for GameStack pointing out this particular issue, would anybody have even realized that this happened? Probably not. There are literally thousands of hours of footage uploaded on YouTube every minute. It is insane how much content gets added to the site daily. And there's no way that we could have realized that. Nobody has the capacity to understand the logistics of it all. So it is really crazy to think about that. And it's not really something to get upset about. Although I had some great conversations on Twitter with people, that were certainly very understanding and willing to hear out my side of things and I was willing to hear out their side of things. There were of course people that decided they wanted to be jerks. But hey, that's the internet for you, right? So let me know your guys' perspective on this. What do you think in all this? Do you think Guru Larry is in the wrong here? Or do you think it's okay? Do you think maybe GameStack overreacted? Or do you think that they were in the right? Or, or do you really even care? I would assume if you got this far in the video, you kind of have some kind of horse in this race, or you just really found this particular subject matter interesting. But let me know in the comments what you think. But till then, Down Phoenix out.